We live online these days. We share pictures of people, places, pets. Now there's a website collecting your pictures to prove a point about what we're really sharing when we post online. Jana Barnello has the story. With the click of a mouse, you can find cats from all over the world. It's a website called I Know Where Your Cat Lives, where you can search down to the street view to find a cat. Here we are in Maine. We've been clicking around at different cat pictures, and we found a cat in Scarborough, six pictures of the same one who looks like he's a lot of fun, and maybe his owner wouldn't mind us knocking on their door. Based on the map and what we found, it's one of these two houses. So we'll knock and see if we have any luck. It looked like we wouldn't find our cat until Hi. the woman inside I know, I was, finally I heard our knocks. Here. I'm Jana with Channel 13. Hi, You're not, you? I'm good. You're not in trouble. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I was wondering if th this was your cat. Yeah. That's my Samson. Really? Yeah. He's gone. He's departed. Us? Yeah. That's <laughs> my Samson. What's going on with him? Okay, there's a website called I Know Where Your Cat Lives. Dot okay. com. We explained the site to Tammy Wentworth. She explained that Samson, who died last year, was internet famous. Friends and family loved to see pictures of him online, but she had no idea her photos weren't protected. I only know enough about technology to be dangerous. Like sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. Wentworth isn't alone in her uncertainty. Just ask the website's creator, Owen Mundy. The, the, the project started when I was photographing my three-year-old. He posted the photo to Instagram, then realized the app had access to his location. There are millions and millions of photographs with geographic coordinates. So Mundy, a digital media professor at Florida State University, wanted to make a point. Just as a test, I I did that and then I thought, oh, wow, this is really funny. So well, I could make it, I could map all of these cats um, and uh, as a way to show that we're giving up too much information. Mundy says he hopes the site leads to tougher data privacy laws in the U.S. It's thanks to computers that that we have all these, you know, all this information and that we can share and communicate with people regardless of our location. But it's also thanks to uh, computers that we we now have to watch how that information is used. I just started organizing there, Samson. Gone are the days of photographs living only in albums. But that's okay for Wentworth, who says her Samson pictures can stay online forever. That was Jana Barnello reporting. We checked the site this afternoon and found tracking information for 234 cats in the Lexington area. So how to, do you protect your data? Well, you have to turn off your location services on your smartphone or tablet. Usually that's found under settings, then go to privacy. That's where you'll find turn locations off. When you download a new app, it will usually ask to turn on location services, which you would want to do if you're using a GPS but you probably don't want to do with a photo app.